my name is Julia, I'm in my second year of computer engineering at York University, and in this video I'll be explaining and demonstrating my EECS 2210 microelectronics project. So let's take a look! So before we actually dive into what exactly is happening with the circuit, I want to talk to you a little bit about what it actually is. And what I have built for my project is known as a photoplethysmographic pulse sensor, or PPG pulse sensor for short. Now, PPG sensors use light-based technology to sense the rate of blood flow based on the heart's pumping action. As the heart pumps blood through the body, the volume of blood cells in the finger increases and decreases. So we can actually detect this change in blood volume by shining infrared light through the finger and detecting the amount of light that passes through the finger using a phototransistor. The first stage of the circuit is the actual sensor made from an infrared LED and a phototransistor. This is where the finger is placed and it's meant to detect small changes in light. So once the infrared light is reflected back and detected, the phototransistor generates a small current which is then passed on to the next stage of the circuit. The feedback loop of the first op amp is meant to amplify the voltage before the second op amp filters the signal. It acts as a high-pass filter and removes any frequencies lower than that of a normal pulse. The signal that is outputted from the op amps is cleaner but is still quite weak, so I used an NPN transistor to amplify it before being read on the Arduino. So now that we have a bit of a sense of what's going on, we can go ahead and connect the circuit to our Arduino to read the output signal. Uh, we have our output over here, it's the green wire, and we're going to take this and connect it to analog input 0. So uh, the output from the circuit will act as the input for the Arduino, and this is where the signal will be read and essentially plotted. We take our final two wires and connect them to their proper channels, so the blue one goes to ground and the orange one goes to 5 volts. You can see where everything is connected, and finally we take the Arduino and connect it to the computer. And everything looks good, so we can go ahead and plot our outputs. Now, I downloaded and ran a few different types of sample code because I wanted to demonstrate the pulse under a series of different conditions. I want to start off with what would be close to ideal conditions, meaning that even though you can't see from my screen right now, I tried to minimize the amount of light in the room as well as the amount of movement around my sensor because it is extremely sensitive to environmental changes. It takes a minute to properly position my finger, but as you can see, it outputs a square wave for each pulse that is detected. Now, it wasn't programmed to plot an actual heart rate, which is why this cannot be used as a precise medical device. But what I really just wanted to show is simply the pulse observed in my finger. Moving on to the next plot, the conditions are not as ideal. So there is more light in the room right now, and as you can see, there's a lot more noise in the signal as a result. It's also taking longer to position my finger properly. But overall, we can still see a similar trend to the previous plot, with the graph spiking at each pulse. Finally, after using different sample code, I'm going to plot my pulse a little bit differently. So instead of graphing a square wave, you'll notice much more subtle bumps on the plot. Again, the signal is a bit noisy because my conditions are not ideal, but you can still see my pulse in every bump on the graph. There are a wide range of applications for PPG technology, but I really just want to focus mostly on health and fitness. So here I have my phone as well as a Fitbit. Both are devices that use PPG sensors to measure heart rate. And I can take my phone and press measure. Notice how it prompts me to place my finger on the sensor, which is located at the back. So once I do so, you'll notice a red light on my finger. And this is similar to the infrared light being emitted in my circuit. Now if I turn my phone over, you'll notice that it is also plotting my heart rate. And so the Fitbit works similarly in the sense that it also uses light to measure your pulse. The only difference is that it measures the blood flow in your wrist as opposed to your fingers, like my project does. That about wraps it up. I hope you learned a little bit more about photoplethysmography and its applications, and thank you for watching.